Hello and welcome back to the Salty Sportsman YouTube channel. If this is your first time viewing one of my episodes, I'd like to welcome you to the Salty Sportsman YouTube channel. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I want you to subscribe. On this video, we're yellowtail snapper fishing in South Florida. And we're sharing the bait, the tackle, and the gear to do so. And I'd like to encourage you to stay tuned in to the end of the episode and see what I caught while fishing for yellowtail snapper. See my head. Oh, I see the square. Yeah, it's focusing in on your face. Why? Because you're face towards it. What about you? It's gonna dial into me. That is cool. Look at that square. <laughs> That's outrageous. What? I've never seen that. You see it focusing in? It was fantastic, I gotta tell you. We anchored up, I think, right at the right time. Soon as I knew that current was running north, and our baits were going to flow right off the back of the boat into that chum slick. I, I knew it was going to be an epic day. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out here snapper fishing South Florida. Got our first fish on, Nick Mazurko. Get him up, Nick. You head shaking? We just started our chum slick, so we're not sure what it is. Yeah, we got a little yellowtail. We got a little flag. There we go. That's a box fish. That's what we're after, guys. Yellowtail snapper tonight. You got that hit immediately almost, huh? Yeah. Put it, keep feeding it way back. And if you don't, you probably don't have to play. Nick's on again, guys. Yellowtail snapper fishing. South Florida, guys. South Florida, baby. There he goes. Another yellowtail. I don't know if that's a keeper right there. Got some yellowtail snapper, guys. We're getting it out here, guys. We've been out here a matter of what, Nick? Just, How long? Just literally down. <laughs> a couple minutes. We literally just anchored up a couple minutes in, guys. And we're hooking up like crazy already. Young bait. Here we go, guys. Another one on. The little guys are in. That's all right. Okay. Little one. There you go. Fish on, Nick. This is what we're after, guys. Yellowtail snapper. We got these little yellowtail biting right now. We're about to get into the big ones. Nick got this spot dialed in in South Florida, guys. Yeah. Aren't you, Nick? Oh, yeah. You, you got it locked in, don't you? Locked. Locked, guys. He has one GPS coordinate on his, on, on his GPS device, on his Garmin, and one GPS coordinate within 10 miles of here. And this is the spot, guys. First time we dropped anchor, we didn't have to readjust nothing. And we were on within two minutes. You know, as the sun was setting. There we go, fish on. There's a big one. There's a big one. Here we go. Double header, baby. Double header. Woo -hoo! Me and Nick tearing it up, short. Get him up. There he is, I see color. Nice fish, nice fish. That's what we're looking for. That's a better one. Woo Nick. That's a better one, baby. That is a better one, guys. Check it out. Nick, show it to the camera, baby. Double header. I believe like a stuffed pig. 
Now we can show it to you. There we go. Hey, this is combat fishing, guys. I'm locked down drag. Because this area that we're fishing is known for sharks. So, aren't, isn't it, Nick? Heavy. There's sharks around here, heavy. Heavy action. Yeah. So we're trying to get them up as fast as possible, guys. In this segment, I'm going to be going over the tips, tactics, tackle, and gear that we used in this episode. A great place to start is figuring out what rod and reel that you're going to use for the type of fishing that you're doing. For this type of fishing, I recommend a 4,000 or 6,000 setup. Uh, what I was using specifically is the Pen Fierce Combo, um, which is very affordable. It's, uh, it's very durable. Uh, it's a fantastic setup. Um, like I said, guys, I always search after what's affordable that's going to get the job done and get the job done right. I spooled the 6,000 outfit with, uh, with 30 pound braid and I spooled the 4,000 outfit with 20 pound braid. All right, now that we have our rod and reel outfit that we're gonna use, we know what braided fishing line we're gonna use. Now, what we're gonna do is, uh, well, this is what I did and what I recommend while fishing for yellowtail snapper. I basically went straight from the braided fishing line um, and I used an Albright, an Albright fishing knot to tie on my fluorocarbon leader. Now, bringing up the leader brings up a topic I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, when you're going out there fishing, whether it be for yellowtail snapper or any type of fishing, you always want to be prepared, guys. Um, in this, uh, on this episode, we forgot a lot of things, just uh, little misunderstandings and just assuming that we had the tackle aboard the boat. I mean, we had five boxes of tackle. I mean, we, we were for certain that we would have 20 pound fluorocarbon, but it ends up we only had 40 pounds. So that might have slowed the bite a little bit for us. But at the end of the day, guys, at the, the ultimate take home is that you want to make sure that you're prepared before you leave out on the water. And it may be something that you may think, oh, yeah, that's an obvious thing. Well, it's not always the obvious case because usually when you're so accustomed to doing it on a weekly basis, sometimes you just forget the obvious. So take that as a, as a note just to learn from, and we're just gonna dive right in. What I do is I just go ahead and I'm gonna tie this Albright fishing knot. And after you're done tying your Albright fishing knot, what I use is these little uh, these little cutters. And these cutters, these these boomerang cutters, um, these work fantastic for uh, for cutting leader line. They they work fantastic for cutting braided fishing line. So you just want to clip those tag ends off, so that way you have no swivel attached. Now you guys, when you're fishing for yellowtail snapper, you want a long leader, okay? So I'm, I'm fishing probably um, a six to eight foot liter of fluorocarbon, 20 pound test is what you want. And the, the, the jig of choice that you wanna use while fishing for yellowtail snapper, or what I recommend, is a hot pink, um, I'll put it right up here on the screen, is a hot pink um, jig head, one eighth ounce jig head, guys, nothing big. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie that right onto our fluorocarbon. And we're going to clip that tag end off. And then that's the outfit, guys. That's the setup. That's what I use for yellowtail snapper. Unfortunately snapper. for me, I bought what I thought was chum, and it ended up being Spanish sardines. Hey, but so, that, that really wasn't your fault. I mean, no, that so, kind of said Yeah, it was under the chum. But the bottom line is I saw that sardine, and I thought sardine chum, that's what I want, because everything's menhaden chum. Exactly. So I was excited, thinking it'd be nice and oily, we'd get a good slick going. Anyhow, long story short, you stepping on the sardines and putting them in the chum bag was, was genius. That's what we had to do, guys. We had to mash them up. We had to mash up the sardines. And then create our own chum. Created our own chum. What did you just start throwing pieces out? Or you just stick it in the bag? Either one. 
throw it in the bag in little tiny pieces, what that'll do is it, it'll put off the oil. Yeah. Nice job. Fish on, fish on. Nice fish. Nice fish. Fish on, fish on. What you got, Nick? Ooh, nice yellow tail. Got a nice yellow tail right here. Boom. I was going to say another one in the box, <laughs> but that one didn't go in the box. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I hit. There we go. There we go. What is that, grouper? Red grouper. No, mangrove? Okay. No, that looks like a lane. Is that yellow? That's a mangrove. Yeah, yeah, we're getting the, we're getting the... All right, guys. I'll check with you later, Nick. Okay, buddy. All right, bye. bye. Got another yellow tail, guys. This one's short, catch and release fish, but we're still into them. And it, it, it did work pretty good. Obviously, it didn't work as good as if we had dueling chum bags out flowing. Exactly. You know, but, but, but uh, I think we got lucky and had a decent night. We had a decent night. We had a good mixed bag. We Ma really mangrove did. snapper, yellowtail, and kingfish. Not to mention those El Toros that came in. El Toros, game. and then what else? The, the sailors. Sailor's choice. Sailor's choice. Um, you got sharks. Oh yeah, sharks were Sharks were, shark built. Sharks were everywhere. Once the El Toros and the sharks came in, it's, it was game over. It's game over. <laughs> you miss him? No. That was Mr. Big. That was Mr. Big Mutton, man. So happy. Oh, he's top water. Could be a big shark. What were you using? Just a little thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you, might have, you might have had a fish on that got eaten. Dude, what? I mean, that's got to be a big shark. <laughs> Could be a big king, though. To feel like real heavy. Shaking his head like a kid for sure. I got a big old yellow. I'm gonna try. Put some black here. I don't know if I got food. You might have a mutton. This here is giant. What is it? Nick, big kid. I got you. Oh, that's a big one. 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 Big old fat, nice king, guys. Look at this kingfish, guys. Oh, yes. Nice gaff job, Nick. Got a nice, nice, nice smoker king. Whew. Nick, how about it? Sweet, buddy, sweet. Did you see that yellow I just got? Did you see it or no? Yeah. It's like three pounds. Big button, buddy. Fish on, fish on. Nice fish. That feels like a good yellow. Get him in before the shark gets him. Get in there. Fling him in, fling him in. Big snapper. Yep. Big snapper. Nice snapper. Nice job. Look at that mangrove, baby. Big old mangrove. That's a grovey. Go, go flatline, John. Dude, that's a grovey. Go Look at that fat grovey. Start going flatline. Nice fish. That's the ones we're looking for, guys. Hold that thing up. There we go. That's the ones we're looking for. We got a nice flag, yellow tail snapper, guys. We're in South Florida fishing with Nick Mazurko. How is that place usually, though? It's what? hot. It is hot. I mean, current being like it was last night, Yeah. conditions flat like that, dark. You know, the moon came up after we got in. It was 
was perfect. Heavy shrimp run to that canal. But when we came in, there were just shrimp swimming all over. Very strong knot. Um, time break to mono is challenging if you, know, if you don't know what you're doing. It can be, especially uh, the higher the mono gets. Yeah, when you start tying, you know, 30 pound braid to 80 pound leader, exactly. you gotta double it.